All right, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to de-bloat and get rid of as much stuff as I can in some old laptops. So one of the laptops I use is this an, a 2-in-1 Dell. Uh, it's an i7, and I like this one here because it does turn into uh, basically a tablet. You can go all the way down into a tablet form with this one right here. Again, it's just an i7, nothing big. Uh, I do want this one de-bloated enough. All I really need on this one out here is uh, OBS for when I'm out in the field with my drone or uh, doing some recording out and about. The other one I'm going to do, oh, and that one there I think is like 2017 or 2018. This one out here is a little older. I think this one out here is like a 2013 or 2014 model. It's an i5. This thing's been beat up, been through things. Windows 8 was originally on here. Um... This right here is actually my Plex media server. So I use this just as a server. Then I have a second hard, uh, a separate hard drive that I plug in with literally like a terabyte of music and like five terabytes of uh, uh, movies. And I can watch, as long as this laptop is connected to the internet here and the power stays on here and I don't have a power surge or nothing, as long as it stays connected, I can go to, I'm in Texas. I can go to England and stay connected to the internet. Uh, I can connect to this server anywhere in the world and listen to my music or watch my movies anywhere I want to. So, which is really, really nice, especially for the music part. My my wife, she's been waiting on me to get this back up and running uh, so she can listen to the music at, at work and stuff. And I'm always adding to my library. So uh, if you have an old laptop, this is something really, really cool that you can do for uh to do a plex media server i might even do a separate video on that all right so the first thing that we're going to need we're going to actually need a clean copy of windows 11. so of course you come to microsoft and you download the newest one and you want to actually download the uh, iso right here uh whatever edition you're doing we're doing windows 11. uh i will this will probably take a little bit longer than the normal uh, I do have some, some of my viewers, they do like how I explain things or how I take my time. So uh, we're going to go through here, you download it, and it should start, I see, language, we're going to choose English, confirm, okay, 64-bit uh, download. So now we're going to go ahead and hit the download button. And now up here, we are downloading what we need. All right, so as that's downloading, what else you're going to need? You're going to need Rufus. All you do, make sure that you're reading your screens, literally. You, like right here, most people would just hit download right here. This isn't where you're downloading. you got to read your links. you got to find your links. And if it's that hard to find on the page, I guarantee you they have a lot of malware in theirs. But anyways, you just click it one time, and, I mean, it's already done. I mean, I have so many here. Um, cause I clicked it too many times, but Rufus, you're going to need, then we're going to go to GitHub. Uh, so when you get over to GitHub, you're going to look for, uh, I'll leave links to everything in the description, but we're looking for tiny 11 builder. So this is what we're looking for right here. You can go through, you read everything. Uh, this is what's automatically removed. Uh, and then we're not going to stop here. Once this is done and I'm going to let tiny builder do whatever, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to, I know it, I know everyone does this. I'm going to go ahead and run Chris Titus tool after this. And he's a smart dude. But anyways, you're going to come in here and you're going to grab um, Tiny11. Click on right here. It says the latest build. I know it gets overwhelming here in um, uh, GitHub. GitHub can be very overwhelming, even for me, and I'm, and I'm used to some of this. Anyways, click on Get the Latest Build. And then you got your different ones. So you got your source code. We're going to go ahead and download that. All right, so now everything, you got everything downloaded. So you got Windows downloaded, you got Rufus downloaded, and you got Tiny Builders downloaded. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and do some executions in the PowerShell. So go ahead and go to PowerShell. Run as administrator. All right, so from this point right here, what we want to do, I'll leave these scripts down below. We're going to go ahead. This would be the first script to run. So set dash execution policy unrestricted. This is to unrestrict anything. 
Uh, obviously, you, you can allow viruses, malware, whatever else to come into your system. But at the same time, you should already know what what you're doing on what your scripts are, and you should already know. You, know, you should already read what the script is and who the script is from. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So now it's telling you, okay, hey, you're at risk, blah, blah, blah. So it's either yes, yes to all, or no. I'm going to put yes to all. So I'm going to type in A. Okay. And then to make sure that it did go through, I am going to run this script. Control V. So get dash execution policies. So this is just to make sure that I am unrestricted. So when I hit enter, I am 100% unrestricted. So now I can close that out. All right, now that you're done with PowerShell and you're already extracted everything that you need to extract, take the Tiny Builder and the Windows ISO. You want to go to this computer and you want to copy it all here. So I already have my ISO right here and I have my Tiny Build right here. So now what we want to do, we want to mount your Windows 11. So we're just going to hit mount, let it do its thing. It can take, you know, up to a minute, but it normally takes about, 15 to 20 seconds to do. So this hit OK or open. All right, so now we have mounted. So if we go back to this PC, we have it here. Now remember to take note of what drive letter. So this is drive G for me. Your, your letter is going to be different. If you only have one hard drive in here, it'd probably be drive um, uh, D. If you have two drives, it'd be drive E. So anyway, so we're going to go back. And now we're going to open up the Tiny Builder. Now, the one that you're looking for is the Tiny 11 Maker. Right-click and run with PowerShell. Hit OK. So now we're greeted to this screen here. It says, warning. Again, you should already know where you're getting your scripts from. Hit R, Enter. Then it's going to open up PowerShell again, and now PowerShell is going to ask you the same thing. Do you want to run it? Yes. Run. Enter. Select the drive. So back when I just said, remember what drive. So mine is G. You do not need the semicolon. Hit Enter. So now what it's going to do is going to write the image. Okay, so the image is written, and now it's going to ask you what version of Windows you have. Me, I'm going with 6 because I use Windows uh, 11 Pro. So down here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit six and then enter. And now it's going to deploy and do everything that it needs to do. I will time-lapse this. Uh, again, this is all real time right now for me. Uh, and I'm just gonna, you know, hyperlapse it just a little bit and, you know, you can see what it's doing on the screen. Okay, so the script is completely done. It's done everything, so you just hit enter, and voila, that's it. So now in here, we have us our disk image. So here's our image right here. Now you're going to open up Rufus. Go ahead and open it. Minimize that. So again, this is where it's going to. We're going to select. Automatically pulls it up. Double click. Then we go through standard windows, windows to go. Now you choose what you want. You go through here and you do all yours. And you just make sure everything is, you know, where you need it. And then just go ahead and hit start. So now is where you can, when you hit start, you can remove the requirements. So for my older, older laptop, uh, the bigger one, the beat up one, this one right here is a plus um, um, or excuse me, a must uh, require, uh, remove requirements for the online Microsoft. Uh, you can create a local account, my name. Uh, I'm actually gonna do that uh, whenever I go in. And then hit okay. Warning, this will be okay. Remember, it's F. So if you need to go through, go in and double check, make sure that it's where it's going to. So here's F, this is my thumb drive. So make sure you're not trying to put it over nothing else. So just double check that and hit OK, and then let it do its thing. All right, 
So it's completed. All you gotta do is hit close. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and show you how to install it or how the install prog progress happens on the laptop. All right, so there's Windows. Go ahead and hit next. Actually, I need to go back. So to deep load a little bit more, we want to go ahead and we're going to change this to English World. So we just got to make sure that we re-enable it once we uh, install Windows. So we're going to hit Accept. And then I'm going to delete everything in here because I want a fresh copy of Windows. I don't want no partitions. All right, so this is where we're gonna install it. Click Next. So now it's installing Windows. Okay, so when you get to this point right here, you're just going to hit skip. If I can find my mouse, hit skip. And of course, now you get to finish your setup. So I hit US or whatever one. I don't need a second keyboard. And now it's going to connect to the internet. I'm just going to click, I don't have internet. Put my Thomas with Tomology and go next. I don't do passwords. I don't need a password. Okay. Now make sure that we turn everything off. I wonder if my touchscreen's working. Cool. My touchscreen's working now. Go through everything. Accept. Okay. I had to go download some. Uh, I had to bring Google uh, Chrome or whatever browser you use. Bring it in because uh, you're going to need a, a browser in order to do certain things unless you just go straight into Chris Titus's tool. So basically, I just needed it. That way I can get OBS up and running on my PC. I needed uh, to go get my display drivers for my laptop. Other than that, that's all I did. So we'll come in here. Oh, go into Windows Update and make, make sure you postpone your updates because we don't need no updates going in. We're going to come in here and we're going to hit task manager. I'm going to go to my performance. So right now I have 155 processes going on. Uh, right now CPU is using what? Three to 5%. Nothing on in the background. Shouldn't be nothing down here. Um, again, I have one update there. I might be able to close this down. So exit. That's just the Intel. So 153 processes going on. So now what we're going to do, and again, I'm on the i7-6500U right here, as you see. So uh, again, I have another laptop I'm going to be doing. It's an i5. I think it's um, a fourth gen, I think. I think it's a 4200 or 4250, something like that on my other one, uh, which that one there, the, the TPM, um, you had to have, uh, you can't get Windows 11. So this right here is going to bypass that as well. If you also notice the, uh, I mean, it, I have it in, I had it in time-lapse or it's going to be time-lapse. It takes a little bit longer to install Windows doing this, but it also depends on your machine. This is, uh, you know, a slower laptop. So that's the whole point of doing this is to make this laptop quick. All right, again, you can go to GitHub. I'll um, try to leave a link down in the description. But you come here, you run PowerShell. Uh, and then you um, run this script right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to automatically, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this. And then after I copy that, again, I'm going to come to the desktop now, or actually I can come probably to the start menu. And 
no. I'm going to go ahead and, and search, and then we're going to look up PowerShell, and we're going to run it as administrator. So now we're just going to do Control V because I already copied it and enter. And now we're going to get in here to uh, Chris Titus's um, script on this PC. And this is going to take a lot of the, the extra bloatware out. I mean, as of right now, I mean, I can come here to start. I mean, look at these apps. I mean, this is or, already a, a, a dumbed down version. I mean, there's like nothing in here. But we can take it even further, though. So we can do updates. I want to do security. I want to make sure I had the, the top security updates on here. That's just me. I just do the recommended. So we got tweaks. So there's different things that you can do in here. Let me uh, try to full screen this a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and also auto hide my taskbar here. Probably need to bring out my mouse. No. Again, I don't have dark theme or nothing on yet. Where's my auto oh, taskbar behavior? I want to automatically hide, and I also want it to the left. But before I do the left, what I'm going to do is that should automatically hide it. So we have things like the widget bar. You know, there's no widgets here because you got to sign in. You still have the uh, the bar here. And again, you can go into the taskbar settings. And again, task view and widgets we can turn off. And then at that point, I am going to um, I'm going to go into taskbar behavior. And of course, now I want to move it to the left. And then I'm just going to exit out of that. All right, so now everything's uh, moved over here to the left at the bottom. Uh, and then I have auto hide for the taskbar. So now I can actually bring the Titus tool a little bit bigger on my screen. I really should be grabbing my mouse. You uh, take for granted sometimes, you know, not having a mouse or, you know, using a mouse and then you go in here. So here we're underneath the tweaks. I'm going to do dark theme. I don't like Bing search. I'm going to turn that off. Number lock, I'll hit on my own. Snap windows. So you can sit here and do whatever you want. No, I don't want the widget button. Center taskbar, no. Taskbar view. Uh, search button. Again, you can come in here. So I don't need a restore point. I wanted to delete temporary. Again, you come through here and you do your own. Okay, so I selected everything that I'm going to put on here for right now. And then I just hit run tweaks. And now it's fixing to do everything that I just told it to do in the background back here. So now it's doing everything. All right, so all those tweaks are done. Then we can come to install. And now we can install whatever we need here. So whatever you want in here, I already put Chrome in here, and that's what I use is Chrome. And then you run through here, and you just figure out what you want, what you need. He has a bunch of stuff in here. And really and truly, at this point in time, I don't really need nothing on here. If I did anything, it's going to probably be um, a VLC player. But other than that, I just, I'm not seeing nothing that I need here. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to close out of this. And we're going to go ahead and type in exit. All right, so I got it booted back up now. So the first thing we're going to check is the processes. Go to task manager. The processes. 91 processes. I mean, that is low, low, low. I imagine I can do a few more tweaks and get that probably about down to 60. But, I mean, that right there is sufficient. Uh, the computer literally restarted in, I mean, it didn't take no more than a minute, maybe a minute and a half for my for this laptop uh, to, to restart. I do have 12 gigs of RAM right there. 
So, uh, as far as everything doing, I mean, there's nothing running in the background. We got this thing pretty much cleaned up to my liking. So, again, we can go to the apps. There is nothing in here. All I have is OBS because that's all I'm going to need and Google Chrome. That's all I need on this one. That's it. I mean, come on. This is the easiest way to de-bloat and the easiest way to install Windows bypassing. Remember, bypassing it like this, you will need to uh, still uh, put activate your Windows. Uh, again, if you don't have Windows, you can go to any CD keys or um, G2A or wherever. A lot of people have them sponsored. I don't. But you can go anywhere and get a key for twenty bucks. Don't don't go don't go spend that two hundred bucks. Once again, Thomas Tomology, catch y'all on the next one.